Good morning, Ravens, and welcome to this week's Monday edition of ONW Now. On today's show, we have an aspiring student with a passion for animation, a guest speaker talking about tonight's Mr. Raven pageant, Game Day Northwest, and a look at weather for this week. Let's get started. A sophomore here at Olathe Northwest shares her passion for the animation focus area of e-communication. Let's take it to Elizabeth Pope for the story. Disney is perfection. In high school, many people don't know what they want their future job to be. Some have an idea on what they want, and few already have a set plan. Hannah Fails has known exactly what she wants to be since seventh grade. Seventh grade, like near the end of the year, our uh, teachers, they gave us like these certificate things, and they told us like, what they thought we'd become in the future and so on mine it said Pixar animator I'm like that sounds awesome when thinking about the career of animations fails thought back to the movies she loved and how much work went into them I think it's really cool the way like all the details and movies that you watch like it shows how hard they work and I love to draw and so it's like animation Oh, like I can work with 2D animation and like 3D animation. Fails has always loved to make people smile, and with animation, she can channel that. I want to make like funny things. <laughs> like my goal in life is to make the world laugh. For animators, inspiration can come from any everyday object, but for Fails, it goes a little deeper. My family, because they really inspired me to be creative. Like my dad's an artist and like my mom's a photographer, so like they always inspired me to like try new things. It takes a lot to be a successful animator, and Fails has her own definition about it. It takes creativity and kind of like thinking on your feet. You kind of have to like think outside the box and come up with original ideas. Animation to many is a career, but to Hannah Fails, it's a lifestyle she wants to live by. Animation is a lot of fun for me. It really pushes me to try hard and be creative, and I just hope that I achieve my goal in life to become a Disney animator. My name is Tiaja Holt, and I'm here with Haley Plotz to talk about tonight's upcoming event, Mr. Raven. Haley, can you tell us a little bit about Mr. Raven? Yeah, Mr. Raven is a male pageant for seniors, and they will be showing off their spirit wear, then doing a talent, and then answering some questions tonight. Um, what's your role in this event? I will be emceeing alongside Madison Elliott in the shark suit may or may not come out tonight. When is it, and how much are tickets? Tickets will be $5 at the door, and it starts at 7, but you can also buy tickets at lunch today. Thanks for coming in. Now take it to Game Day Northwest. Hey Ravens, welcome to this week's edition of Game Day Northwest. Today we welcome a guest onto the show and take a look at some upcoming events. Let's get started. I'm here with Taylor Bradowski, who will be swimming for the Ravens this spring. Taylor, what are some goals the team has for this season? Um, this year we would really like to get third at state, and I know that the divers' main goal is to get a few divers to qualify for state this year. What differences will there be this season compared to last season? The biggest difference is that we got a new assistant coach who brought a new training program with him, and also we had a lot of fast freshmen come up and swim and dive for us this year. All right. What do you individually hope to accomplish this season? Personally, I would really like to get top three in both of my events, but I would also really like to see everybody at state place in the top eight. All right. Well, thank you for coming on the show today, and good You're luck welcome. your next meet. Thank you. A few highlights we have coming up this week are softball on Tuesday and Thursday and baseball on Thursday. The girls' soccer team will play in a tournament on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Make sure you come out to support all the spring sports teams as they come into their season underway. We have a new segment this week called Question of the Week. This week's question is, who is going to win the NCAA tournament? Tweet your answers to hashtag ONWGameDay for a chance to get your tweet on Friday's show. That's all we have for this week. Now back to the desk. 
Let's take a look at the weather report for this week with Savannah and Isabel. Morning Northwest and what a good morning it is. I second that Savannah. This week's forecast is looking much warmer than last. Today we have a high of 70 degrees and a low of 47 with sunny skies all day long. Tomorrow be prepared for sunny skies with a high of 75 and low of 48. On Wednesday it's looking like more sunshine with a high of 81 and low of 57. Thursday is not going to be so sunny with a 40% chance of rain, a high of 70 and a low of 48 degrees. Friday there's a 30% chance of rain with a high of 65 degrees and a low of 36. So you may want to get on those rain boots. As for this weekend, Saturday should be warming back up with a high of 66 and a low of 43. On Sunday, be expecting partly cloudy skies with a high of 63 and a low of 46. That's all we have for this week's forecast. Make sure to tune in next Monday and have a fabulous day, Ravens. That's all we have for today's edition. For Tiaja Holt, I'm Cami Gibson. We will see you on Wednesday's show. Have a great day, Ravens.